did you know that every five seconds, someone in the US suffers from chest pains so severe that they seek care? If it is a heart attack, obviously the time to correct diagnose and treatment is vital. So today I will tell you a little bit about ProLite's unique point of care technology and how it helps healthcare to rule in or rule out heart attacks early and thereby to save lives. At ProLite, we want to offer the foremost ultra sensitive point of care systems on the market for a quick, reliable diagnosis of acute events, for example, heart attacks. At ProLite today, we have a highly experienced team that drives a rapid development progress and also has enabled us to receive some significant and quite competitive prestigious grants. Uh, our launch product that will now provide high sensitive measurements of the biomarker troponin to assist in the accurate rule-in and rule-out of a myocardial infarction. And why then troponin? Well, simply because that during a heart attack, it is this protein, troponin molecules that, that are released into the bloodstream uh, from that damaged heart muscle. Unfortunately, when you are to measure um, high sensitive troponin analysis, the majority of these analyses are made at the big laboratories. And imagine you are at the primary care center far away from the hospital, you know, it takes time to get results. Uh, so what you do is you, you be safe and you send in the patients to the emergency department and to the hospital. And actually in the US, there are approximately 7 million patients that are present to the emergency centers department each year with chest pains at an estimated cost of 5 billion US dollars. And the fact is that is less than 10% of the 7 million patients that at the end ultimately get the diagnose of myocardial infarction. So when you reflect about these numbers, I'm sure you realize that there are some significant cost savings if these suspected myocardial infarctions could be rolled out early in this care chain with the support then of ultra sensitive point of care systems. So, in ProLite, we have now, you know, are developing an ultra-sensitive point-of-care system that actually meets every stringent requirement set by the market. So, obviously, performance is key. It has to be equivalent to the central laboratory. Uh, that you must detect troponin at these extremely low concentrations. And we are now talking about nanograms per liters, single nanograms per liter. The response time has to be quick, less than 10 minutes. They do not want to see that you collect too much blood, preferably a drop of blood. Uh, and you, they also want to see that you can test several biomarkers at the same time, which we call multiplex. So at ProLite, we have, during the entire development, we've been laser focused on our production cost, simply because we know otherwise we will not be able to offer the market a competitive price. The market also wants to see that you should have a portable instrument. You can lift it with one hand and it should be user friendly. And let me just give you an example of user friendliness. So we can collect blood either capillary from a drop of blood that then you directly insert, put the finger in the capillary blood directly to this cartridge. Or, which is more common at the emergency departments, you take venous blood. In that case, we have a transfer device which you just stick on top of the vacuum tube, turn it around, and then you can just add one drop of blood. So, <clears throat> This system is really slick and it's unique in terms of how it's set up. And we have branded this system as Cyrus. It comes from the company we acquired in the UK two years ago, Cyrus Diagnostics. 
And uh, the technology is proprietary. And as I told you before, you don't need to do anything but to add whole blood. Uh, furthermore, you don't need to add any liquid reagents. It's a dry. So the, this cartridge is prepared with the antibody that you're searching for. So <clears throat> with the blood on the cartridge, insert it into the instrument. And when this biomarker then you're looking for binds to the antibody, there is now a local reaction, which then initiates a localized fluorescence bleaching. And that creates a permanent black spot. So let me pause here for a second, because everyone is probably aware of Normally you use fluorescence to see something. But what we do, we do the opposite. We have an already fluorescent layer. And when we then get this antibody reaction, we get spots, black spots. And each spot you see here corresponds to molecular binding of the search biomarker for example, troponin. And this is then counted digitally, and then on the display, you will then get a result less than 10 minutes. So by this single molecule counting, we then now have developed an ultra-sensitive platform where biomarkers can be detected at extremely low concentrations. Obviously, it's not only for troponin or cardiac, there is a high demand for ultra-sensitive point-of-care systems for many other large clinical areas, such as in the neurological pathologies, traumatic brain injury, for example, immune system dysfunctions, you know, sepsis, it's acute, very important, you can get a result early, and rapid virus detection. So, by having all this, we decided that we wanted to showcase this to a broader audience. So what we did was we participated at the world's largest congress for diagnostics that took place in, well, a month ago in Chicago called ADLM. Had roughly 20,000 participants. And uh, our booth was very frequently visited. And uh, we have today a long list of high potential global partners. What they're extremely impressed by is obviously this technology. And they say, well, that's smart, that no one had thought about this before. But also, they were very impressed by our rapid progress. Remember, we acquired this company two years ago. So for the instrument, we have already an in-house production of prototypes of, more of 12, all functioning. Uh, we have appointed uh, US GNH and ITL in the UK. Are, they are our instrument developer. And we're nearing now the end of the prototype development phase. And you can see here the, this instrument from different angles. Um, we have also this cartridge. And uh, the cartridge obviously is very, very important when you have a razor, razor blade model. This is where you earn your money. Um, so we have finalized the cartridge design and we have appointed also in the UK fleet bioprocessing as our reagent partner, as well as Flex Medical Solutions, which are then our manufacturing partner for this cartridge up in Scotland. And as a matter of fact, I, I just came from Scotland. We had a business review yesterday with Flex. Uh, in order to secure that we are progressing according to plan to set up our manufacturing plant, pilot manufacturing plant. And I must say, I'm extremely impressed by Flex Medical. Uh, also for the Estee, we have demonstrated very robust performances with this commercial cartridge designed down to single digits, nanograms per liter. And through these high prestigious grants that we have received, we are now gearing up to set up a pre-validation studies at St. Thomas's Hospital in London. Uh, that will then enable us to secure an optimal outcome of the full performance validation study. That is, we want to de-risk when we start a full performance study as of next year. So, in order to do this, we need obviously a CRO, and we have also selected MDX CRO that will help us to set this up for high sensitive troponin test. So, the roadmap now, many, many processes are going on in parallel. 
Everything is aiming to get our point of care system ready for this clinical validation. That full performance study will start next year. And we will then submit the technical file into the notified body in order to obtain an IVDR approval so we may launch in 2026. So to sum up, I want to say that we truly have a great potential here in ProLite Diagnostics due to that we have some, I would say, groundbreaking as well as user-friendly technology with many of these unique advantages that I told you about previously. Um, I also want to say that this is not only for troponin. This is a ultra-sensitive system that may be used in many clinical areas where up till today you can only perform these tests at high specialized laboratories. This is a very innovative product, so not only it will innovate great value for the healthcare, but patients and also for shareholders. So with my highly uh, experienced team, Without them, I would say, this rapid progress in terms of development would never have been possible. So now we have a very short path to commercialization, which I'm so happy about. Now, finally, if someone would be interested uh, to look more into this, we are a publicly listed company. And uh, coming up shortly next month, there is an opportunity for those who are warrant holders of the TU7 series to subscribe for new shares at an attractive price, layer, uh, price level. So if you want to learn more, please visit our homepage, prolightdx.com. Here you can find a recently published analysis from uh, uh, emergers, as well as several articles from our host, Biostock. So with that, I just thank you very much for your attention and see if we have any questions. Thank you, because uh, if you don't go into the page, we can just ask the questions now. Oh, Come okay. and join me here. Oh. Okay, I will. Good. <laughs> right, so how many biomarkers per blood sample? Yes. Um, okay, so uh, today on this cartridge, it's prepared so we can make up to four different biomarkers with one drop of blood and with one cartridge. Mm. So the picture was right because that's someone who asks. You'll see, I'll, I'll get closer to you because the camera is not like it. When we have. <laughs> no, but I mean, you showed on a picture and yeah. there's just a drop of blood. So yeah. that's the amount you need. Yeah, you so don't you, need you don't need more than 10 to 15 microliters of blood, regardless if it's single or multiplex. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of uh, competition do you have? Uh, well, I would say there is today no one on the market who has this digital, that is, single molecule counting possibility, um, making and this is a very ultra-sensitive system. Obviously, there are other presents, for instance, Siemens, Kidel, they have an older technology. Uh, interestingly enough, they have the C mark only. None of them have the IVDR or the FDA approval. So I would say, obviously, there are many others probably that are in the development phase, but I can honestly not see that anyone can actually meet the market stringent requirements. Mm, that was almost answering uh, the next sort question. of the, <laughs> the question of like the, the non-competition. But all right, you said there's some competition. Okay. Um, how large is your addressable market? Well, I would say it depends on which market you look at. If you take the single uh, market troponin, last year it has a global turnover of 1.5 billion US dollars. Cardiovascular last year had a turnover of 10.7 billion US dollars. And in addition then, if you add what I told you before, other clinical areas, the market is huge. So I would say with troponin, we are just scratching the market. Well, that is a nice way to uh, sum this up. Thank you so much for coming here and talking. Thank to you, Sun.